Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 7 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about database setup in our Laravel project. Okay, so first of all, I am just going to make the configuration uh, before adding the uh, database configuration. First of all, create a database. So go to the PHP MyAdmin. So in the browser, just type here in URL localhost PHP MyAdmin. Okay, and press enter. Let's click on database and type here your database name. Let's say data, uh, database name is Laravel ProDB. All right, uh, click on create. All right, now switch to the project and go to the .env file. And here, just add the database configuration. So, DB connection, MySQL, DB localhost, uh, DB host, localhost, DB port 3306, and database. Database is uh, Laravel Pro DB. So, just copy this and paste here. Okay. And DB user root and password in my case here password is blank okay now save the .env file now restart the application okay so go to the command prompt and just restart here so first of all I stop this so just press ctrl plus c for the stopping and now retype here php artisan serve okay now press enter. Now it's running on, on local host 8000 port. So go to the browser and just refresh the page. Okay, it's, uh, it's still working. All right. Now we have to make the controller and their routes. So I am just going to make a controller with the PHP artisan command. Uh, if you don't know about how controller actually works and uh, how actually router work then you can watch the my previous video okay all right now let's create the controller so switch to the command prompt and uh, here inside the command prompt just type here php artisan make controller and let's say controller name is host controller all right now press enter now switch to the project and uh, go to the post controller so first of close the this file and inside the app folder tp controllers you can see here post controller all right inside the post controller uh, just create a function which fetch all posts from the database okay before the creating this function just create a table inside the database so switch to the database just go to the php my admin and uh, inside this uh, laravel pro db database just create a table let's uh, let's say table name is posts okay and number of column 3 just click on go And here type just type here the column name. Let's say first column is ID, data type in length, let's say 10, and also set the auto increment. So just check this. Alright. Another column name which is title data type var care and length let's say 300. Okay and last one is body and data type let's say text okay now click on save all right now table has been created now some just insert uh, records inside this table so just click on insert and just type here 
let's say first post like and here first post to script all right get another record so just type here second post title and let's say second post description all right now click on go just click on browse you can see here post two table records okay now switch to the project and inside the post controller just create a method for fetching the post from the database so here i am um, just going to use db to perform database operation laravel's database query builder provides a convenient fluent interface to creating and uh, running database queries okay it can be used to perform most database operation in your application and works on all supported database system all right so i am just going to use db object so just for using db just right here use illuminate and then support slash starts slash db all right now create a method here for getting all the posts so just write here public function function name let's say function name is get all post all right and inside this function just write here dollar result is equal to db colon colon table and table name is you can see here table name is posts okay so just copy this paste here all right and call the get method it will fetch all post records from the post table all right and just return here return view and put here the view name let's say view name is post and inside this just pass here the result array so post arrow shine and type here this variable name result right now save the file and let's create a post view so go to the view folder inside the resources folder just click on views right click new file and view name is post.blade.php all right inside this view just uh, show here the posts so just type here inside h1 tag all post all right now just write here for each and dollar post in dollar posts all right and just end the for each so just write here end for each all right inside this just write here h3 and print inside this title so dollar post arrow title. right and inside the p tag just print the body so just write here post arrow body all right now save the file and let's create the routes for this so go to the web.php file so just click on routes web.php and inside this file web.php file just create a routes for getting all post so just write here route get slash 
posts all right and controller name controller name is post controller okay so just copy this controller name and paste here and date method name and method name is get all post all right so just write here at the date this method name get all post all right now save all files and let's check so go to the browser and in uri just type here localhost 8000 posts press enter all right view post not found let's check post dot okay spelling mistake so just rename this blade okay this is the correct spelling so all right all done now we check again so go to the uri and just refresh this page it's a still error undefined offset one okay let's check again all right let, uh, let's make some changes here so i'm just going to write here posts and just write here compact call this compact method and just pass here posts all right now save the file and go to the browser and just refresh the page it's still throwing the error what happened for each post at the rate for it okay the mistake inside the for each okay so just write here dollar posts as dollar post okay now just cut this and paste here now save the file and just go to the browser and refresh the page all right now you can see all the posts all right So in this way, you can config, configure the database inside your Laravel project. So that's all about database configuration in Laravel. So thanks for watching this video. And if you still have any kind of question, you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.